What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna learn how to speed up rendering in cycles. So after this video, you'll be rendering so fast, like you don't even know. Yeah, let's jump right into it. So to start, I'll make a quick scene that we can test our render times on. By the way, this was made using my city asset pack, link in the description. So if we'd render this now, it would take like 20 minutes and yeah, that's no good. So let's fix the issues. The thing that will help the most is by using a GPU and not CPU. If this happens when you try to change, either you haven't enabled CUDA or you don't have a GPU. Now when you try to you can see that it's already so much faster. Next tip is to all you NVIDIA users out there. So if you have RTX card, you can enable optics, which will make your rendering so easy. With optics, you can render six minute scenes in only a few seconds. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Now we can see how fast it really is. Like you could easily make a whole scene in this render mode with optics. And to spice it up even more, you can use this viewport denoising and like now it's like basically real time. Now, if you still aren't happy, you can decrease the total light bounces to three. This will speed up rendering too. Plus turn up these two it will like make your life easier. So if you scroll down to the tile size here we can see that by default it's set to 64 which is very bad like this will definitely slow down rendering for both GPUs and CPUs. If you don't know the right tile size for your machine this add-on will actually figure that out for you. To install this go up to the add-on tab search for tile and check the box. If we go back now we can check this auto tile size and you'll see the perfect size for your machine. Now, after only these few steps, we've managed to cut our render time down from 22 minutes to only, drumroll please, 10 seconds. Guys, that's one hell of an improvement. Also, a little tip for you Instagram creators, don't have your vids in 1080p, like, it will just slow down your workflow so hard, like, I have mine at 720p and no one even notices. Now comes the best tip of the video. Even if you have a powerful RTX card or a crappy laptop, this will make rendering super fast. And it's free, I'm of course talking about Sheep at Render Farm. It's basically a free render farm, what more could you ask for? So now I'm gonna show you how to render with Sheepit. First step is pack your external data so your renders don't come out looking pink. Second step is saving your file. Third step is to go on Sheepit, log in, start your project and select the right file. Now, before sending it away, you'll first have to render some projects yourself. The way this works is you render for others while you aren't using your computer. Then you get points from that. With those points, you can upload your file and let everyone else render it for you. This actually works very well. During the day, I usually just work on my projects. Then I go to sleep and let Sheepit get a bunch of points for me. The next day, I'll have plenty of points to render it out. I've been doing this for a while now and I've managed to get 2 million points. One project roughly costs 5,000 so I'm pretty much set for life here. Now when we hit send file this will just start uploading to ship it. When that's done you'll get these settings here. I usually only have Nvidia because GPUs are the fastest. You can also change if you want a single frame or an animation. Because there are so many people on Sheepit rendering, an animation is gonna take the same amount of time as it takes for only one frame to finish. So now we can just hit add this blend and it will start rendering. If you want to check in on how it's going, you can click administration. This is where you can see all of your frames. If we just wait a little bit and hit refresh, this should already be rendering. Sometimes you'll have to wait a few minutes before Sheepit starts prioritizing you. Good job everybody, we rendered our first frame in Sheepit. Also, a super big thanks to all of my patrons for keeping this channel alive and supporting my content. If you'd like to join, link in the description. Peace out.